Hello. Well, today I'm going to start back kind of at the beginning of when I started on this uh, video series on uh, finishing up this section carving and spackling it. Now I'm going to focus in on working on the track, the uh, foam along the track here, because uh, right now you can see the track. I mean, I got the foam going right up to the track, but uh, it kind of looks like uh, it's all been cut out with a cookie cutter. And uh, what I tried to do up above, for example, here, tried to get the foam to hang over the edge. I mean, to cover up the edge of the uh, plywood here, so you get some kind of breaks. It looks a bit irregular. It doesn't look like, uh, you know, all of a sudden this uh, piece of plywood magically comes out of the rock. It kind of blends in a little bit. And uh, I'm going to work on sections of the track where it still is just kind of like this uh, it doesn't blend in that terribly well. And uh, some of this problem will be uh, alleviated by when I um, actually put the dirt down, um, sprinkle actual real dirt. I mean, that'll fill in some of these gaps along here. I, I plan on using some uh, squeeze and caulk and filling, sealing this off. So, don't have dirt trickling down when I put it down. So that'd be the first thing I do is fill this in, these gaps of squeeze and caulk. And then I'm gonna augment that with the pieces of florist foam cut narrow strips and chunks and glue them along there and work them in. You'll, you'll kind of see what I'm doing as I do it and trying to get this to blend in to give some kind of irregularity to the terrain. So, and ultimately that will be covered with paint and then there'll be dirt thrown on it. So it'll all kind of, you know, blend in and some rock castings here. Um, I got some uh, molds for making boulder rock castings, small rocks that I can uh, put here, uh, put along the track, wherever I got room, actually have room to put that stuff. So to kind of, uh, I don't know, I guess make it a little bit more natural looking as is possible to do in this kind of uh, configuration. So uh, that's what I'm going to be working on for the next at least couple of videos, if not three videos. So plus I'll still be doing more carving and tweaking here and there as I see I'd like to change things around a little bit or if I see something I don't like how it's visually turning out I might do I dig in and do some more carving and spackling it's kind it's a it's a process of looking at it and thinking about it and tweaking it and changing it until I basically arrange things in a way I the way I like so uh,
got my uh, plywood sticking out fairly well. <coughs> fairly high. I'm debating on whether I might be able to just get away with closing this off right here and then just piling up dirt over. I should use a piece of uh, forest foam on top of this section here and just kind of wear it down with my finger to kind of fill it in. I'm still going to cover it over with dirt but then I don't have to put such a huge pile of dirt on top of that. I'm going to cover up the fact that this is the edge of the plywood and I think that's what I'm going to do. <coughs> Actually, give you a quick demo. Throw down some, basically carve these down. Throw down some dirt, so you can kind of see where I'm going with this. I mean, I'll be vacuuming the dirt up after that and uh, reusing it, or else just tossing it because I got no shortage of dirt <laughs> outside. So, uh, but just to kind of give you an idea where I'm going with this, because some of you may have a hard time seeing how this is all going to blend together, but but it does ultimately blend together. So I'm just going to do a small test piece here. What I want to do is get these all carved and glued into shape and then paint everything first and then put washes on and then throw down dirt. But uh, I'll just give you a brief sneak preview on this section here just so you get a visual <laughs> of uh, how it's going to be transformed. <laughs> 